Hi boys and girls, welcome back. You ready for a new story? I'm gonna start with a riddle because I'm reading a book about the government. I'm gonna ask you, where was the Declaration of Independence signed? You ready? This is called, this book is House Mouse, Senate Mouse, and it's by Peter W. Barnes and Cheryl Shaw Barnes. Sounds like a married couple. Now, what do you think the book's going to be about? Hmm. America's mice have a government too, with president, senators, and Congress mice who are elected to debate, vote the popular will. It's a rodent republic on Capitol Hill. There's a Capitol there that looks just like our own, a mouse house, a Senate of column of stone. Mouse masons and workers copied every detail from the tip of the dome down to the very last nail. So, see how that's the real Congress and here is the one that the mice built. One day in Missouri, mouse Zuri, get it? It's because it's mice. A wonderful state, a teacher, Miss Tuft Mouse, at about half past eight, told her class, settle down, everyone sit up straight. There's a special assignment and it must not be late. The class altogether, for worse or for better, must write to our Congress to an, Congress an interesting letter. You ought to get started not later but soon for you must turn it in by this Thursday at noon. Well, the children excited did not, did not waste a minute working hard on their letter and what to put in it. For three classes straight they wrote and they read then the letter was finished and here's what it said. Dear Congress, we think there should be, if you please, a law to establish, establish a national cheese. We hope, we like this idea, we hope it will pass your sincere, sincerely, Miss Tough Mouse, second grade class. Hey, just like ours. Miss Tuft Mouse, of course, gave the letter an A and ma mailed it to Congress the very next day. It went to the mail room where the mail comes in crates from Missouri, Mississippi, and other mouse states. The post mouster took it to Longworth McMouse, the capable, confident squeaker of the house. It's really called the Speaker of the House because it's mice, it's the squeaker. A copy was rushed across to the Senate to the mouse majority leader, Russell Mouse Bennett. Then Longworth called Russell as quick as a blink. A national cheese? Well, what do you think? Good idea, the mouse majority leader said back. We'll draw up a bill to get it on track. To make a new law, Congress starts with a bill, a document written with care and with skill. To find the right words, mouse assistants begin with the liberty of Congress and the books found within, with the library of Congress and the books found within. Next, a committee considers the bill for it just isn't finished or ready until the members discuss it, make changes and more, then finally send it along to the floor. That's the floor of each chamber, the Senate and House. It's where each Senator and each Congress mouse goes to vote on the bill and if enough do, the President signs it if he likes it too. It's in the Senate chamber. But it's not always easier for all to agree on just what a bill should do, say, or be. For example, the bill for national cheese, the cheese, caused a bit of disagreement and a lot of unease. Some wanted cheddar to be the, take the top spot. Some wanted Roquefort, but others said not. Some said Parmesan, some couldn't care less. So many opinions and such a big mess. Just when it seems things couldn't get bleaker, the mouse majority leader agreed with a squeaker. T 
to gather the brightest on Capitol Hill to figure out how they could rescue the bill. The rotunda was packed, a good place to meet, when Senator Thurmouse rose to his feet. The oldest and wisest in Congress by years, the squeaker, the leader, the rest were all ears. <coughs> Our mouse founding fathers, he said, were so wise, they founded a nation around compromise. They wrote it all down in the mouse constitution, so much after th thought, I propose the solution. <coughs> we are city mice, country mice, large mice, and small. We like many cheeses, in fact, like them all. But we're Americans first, so now, if you please, let's agree that American is our national cheese. Look at that American cheese. Bravo, they all shouted. Hooray, they yelled twice. What a good compromise. What terrific advice. In the House and the Senate, it passed right away, and the President signed it the very next day. And back in Missouri, where everything started, Miss Tufts' mouse class was very glad-hearted. Look, children, she said, isn't it grand? We all live in a wonderful land. And that is very true. So the riddle is, where was the Declaration of Independence signed? So, you know the Declaration of Independence is a big paper that was signed when we became a country. Where? At the bottom. Silly. I miss you. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.